Okay, here we go. Matchup just about ready to get underway. A lot of tension between these two men, and well, how about this? Handshake, possibly? Yeah! All right! He wasn't quite expecting that, but that makes me happy. It's because you're a dork. Great sportsmanship to start this thing. Trust me, once the bell rings, respect goes right out the window. Well, this match has started, and you always love to see that mutual appreciation before the bell. Not just a show of respect for each other, but for the ring and everyone who stepped in it before them. Absolutely, Corey. Yeah, they're class acts. How are they gonna hear after this match? You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you wanna win. What are we about to see next? Whiplash! Neckbreaker. And then shoulders down. Is it enough? He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. He's looking to get this match won in short order. Oh, strong impact! Ooh, whoa! He moves just in time. Superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Oh my gosh! Oh, shot right to the kidney! Crushing impact corner and a couple back elbows to follow. With mankind, you always have to expect the unexpected. What kind of mindset? Oh, no, it's roll up! He gets the shoulder up in two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Close line! Right in the back of the neck. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. And he's taking this to the outside now. Oh, that didn't go as set design. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. Drop. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Lands face first. Boom. Oh, man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Uh-oh. He'll take things into the ring. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Single leg drop kick caught him. Ridiculous standing shooting star. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Can he do it here? the shoulder up before two. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Carefully placed stop to the arm. And again finds its mark. Mankind cuts him off. Planted with a face buster. Double underhook, bang! That would makes the cover. Just gets the shoulder up. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. A 
Uh, no, don't do this. No, no, no. This is Sarko with the Battle of Claw. It's over. This is vile. Oh, just tap out. Just tap. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Perched up top. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Oh, drops the hammer right on the lower back. He may be in a bad way here. Typical crafty offense from Rollins as this match goes on. Able to interrupt the attack. Disqualification. The old four and up. Matchup underway. Oh, no! Oh, gosh. Inadvertently strikes the official. Well, we got to be concerned about the health of the referee right now. Well, let's face facts here. Now there's nobody to stop these two from obliterating one another. There's no telling what could happen. The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. There's the clothesline. Oh, that backfired on her. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Yeah. Scoop slam from behind. Boom! Uh-oh, this is just vicious, vicious arm stop. She's beginning to flag a little. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Taking it to the floor, what's she gonna do? Elbow drop, great height. Jarring impact. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh! Taking this one back to the ring now. And a brazen display of confidence from China right here. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Oh, face first. Cover. She breaks the count quick. This isn't even close to over. That was nasty. So precise. China's dominance is sure to be on full display in this match. Right, Corey? Oh, yeah. China doesn't know any other mode. It's going to be a lot of seek and destroy. No woman can match her in that regard. <laughs> Laying out with a power slam. Goes into the pin. Denying a two count there. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Uh-oh. Nothing fair. 
fancy there. Paid it right back with a reversal. Ah, she counters right back on China. Uh-oh. <laughs> Impressive reversal there. Scooped up. What are we looking for here? Fall away slam! I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rounds. Slamming their opponent into place. Curious to see what's coming next from the second rope. Splash! China in big time jeopardy. Cover. What a performance and what a win. Here is your winner, Jordan Grace. I don't see how you can't be disappointed in winning like this. And how can you even celebrate a win as tainted as this one? Tainted? How? Oh, come on. You saw the blatant cheap shot, Corey. All I saw was the drive to win at any cost, which they just did, mind you. And to that, I say kudos. A couple of all-American athletes. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 531 pounds, Rick and Scott, the Steiner Brothers. One of those rare championship brother teams. They just know where the other is all the time. They'll fight anyone in the locker room even each other. Epic clashes with all the top teams in WCW and WWE. Multiple Hall of Fame duos have been unable to stop the Steiners. One of the few teams in the game to hold tag titles in WCW, WWE, and Japan. Look who it is. And at a combined weight of 437 pounds. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match.
He is one of the most ruthless and evil competitors and ever. From Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 249 pounds, Jake the Snake Roberts. The time has arrived to embrace the darkness. A man who sits with the serpents at Lucifer's table. You know, Jake the Snake Roberts, creator of one of the most devastating moves, the DDT. So sudden, so powerful, that maneuver has brought the Snake much success. Here comes the ever unpredictable and the always explosive Cactus Jack. And from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Cactus Jack. He's been covered with thumbtacks, nails, barbed wire, been lit on fire, been broken in half. And yet Cactus is still standing and ready for whatever else you got. Cactus Jack is ready to take aim at the entire WWE locker room. And the hardcore icon never misses. Bang, bang! Multiple teams facing off in this Tornado Tag match. In a Tornado Tag situation, you never know how many opponents will be targeting you. The only one on your side is your tag team partner. Oh, it's not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. Oh, Jeez, that was nasty. Gonna turn your cranium inside out with that. Byron, a match like this is when we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can... And those kickouts are only gonna get harder. Whoa, what a save! That should have been three. The button. Ah, oh, Cactus answers back. Ref, ref, come on, ref. You can't allow that. A taste for desperation clearly sinking in there. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. That going to be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. And talk about giving a DDT Chair. Boom. Nice. And that clearly rocked Scott a bit. Cactus Jack proving too much to handle with that. Powerless position to be in right now. No, 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 no. Power bomb out of the apron. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Saxton. Oh, Steiner fell right into that one. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Shades of the old EC dub as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. Sequence of reversals here. Taking a hold of Roberts here. DDT! Jake got caught with all of it. Belly to belly. I 
isolating the leg. DDT plants them. Planning on what to do next. Take down. Whatever the cross face gets cinched in. This We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Cactus Jack has it locked in. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Takes him down. Forget about it. He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pain window. And now to Steiner. And that one's scouted. Hoist it up. And that was a well executed attack. The stop puller. Leg step. Take off. All the way. What impact. Cover. There's two. Breaks the count. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. And Cactus Jack grimacing as he takes some more punishment there. Saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. <laughs> the sleeper hold is cinched in. Time to another big move. Locked down with a DDT. Big opportunity for it now. Two. Was that? No, Jake Roberts wasn't pinned. I thought for sure he was done. Back is Jack. Has him hooked. Jack might have this wrapped up. The official's concerned with the wrong thing right now. They're completely missing the pin. Rick looks out of it. Incredible. Hoping to end it here. This is it. But now Steiner. And the energy in here is raising the hairs on the back of my neck. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. He was waiting for him to make his move. A successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Oh, attacked in the midsection. So ruthless. Look out! Spine Buster! <laughs> and this might not have a pleasant ending. Punch to the gut. And he tosses it back in now. Nice amateur takedown. Lifted off the mat, suplex position. Oh my goodness, what a pile driver. Did Scott just close this out? Snake with the arm ringer. Single arm right back by. Jake the Snake, here it comes. The Snake with a DDT! Did Roberts just finish this? Right to the arm. Plants 
hits him. Nicely done. Jack felt that coming. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. Back to Jack. Delivers the butterfly DDT. That's it. Cactus Jack just ended things. And that's going to jam Scott's offense. The man looking for the victory. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Uh-oh. Angle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's going to hurt. Measuring it up one more time. Spiked. I think that finally closes the book. Can't look at it in here. This could be it. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. He may get the three count right here. This is it. And now here's Jack. Not target of the arm. Cactus Jack looking for the double DDT for Cactus Jack. Will Cactus put it away here? Broken up, and the match continues. This could be it. Cover for the win. He keeps his team in the match. Oh, no. Oh, not to the belly. in the back, and he breaks the pin. Uh, and there's the save. We are European uppercut. Nice backbreaker. Control in there. I believe there's aggression, just pure oh. brutality. Come on, easy. <laughs> Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. <laughs> Step suplex. Very nice. Jack is Jack. Has him hooked. That's it. Cactus Jack just ended things. Back suplex. Ooh, very nice. Man, that logo just got tattooed between their eyes. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Into 
the mat. Uh-oh. Scouted it and fired back with a punch straight to the face. Vertical suplex. Nicely done. Headbutt. Oh, look at this. Just cracking the head. That's going to hurt. Oh, just trying to pound their opponent into the ground even further. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Boom! He saw it coming. Arm ringer. Hey, how about a punch? Hoisted up and driven down. Emerald flunging. Kicked him hard. <laughs> Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Now back to Steiner. celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. Have all the fun you want, but at the end of the day, this is what it's all about. Winning and making money in that order. Shaking hands, yeah. center of the ring, and here we go. May the best man win. I don't expect to see any more sportsmanship after the handshake. These two don't like each other, and they're battling for the same prize. I do expect a hard-hitting matchup, though. This match is underway, and I have to commend them for that display of esteem between these superstars. Sportsmanship like that is something you have to earn in the WWE. I agree with you, Saxton. That's not just something you get when you walk in the door. He's returning fire. Hoping to end it early. And fends off the pinfall. He's trying to get this done fast, looking to avoid going into deep waters. Wards off that offense from Cody. Popped up. Whoa, change of plans. Pop up German. Big forearm. to get the advantage here. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. Oh. And he's out of there in a nick of time. 
Not allowing that to go on any longer. Gore Buster! They're lining up their opponent. What do they have in mind? Ooh, a well placed knee drop to the skull. He's looking a little off balance. You can tell Cody was zeroed in on his opponent. Courtesy of the Falcon Arrow. He's been placed in the corner now. Rhodes turns it around. Uh, off the rope. Catches the kick into a dragon screw leg whip. Makes him pay with a counter. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Get back here, leg lariat. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. A oh, knee drop. Fighting back with a counter. Springboard off. Here's the cover. Stops the count before it, too. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Stops the ref's count. Not time to expect victory yet. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. <laughs> Snap Mare. And the rolling next snap. <laughs> rolling into a monkey flip. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. It roads is countered. Some intimidation tactics from Cody Rhodes. Oh man, by the skin of his teeth. Jeez, what a way to make us sweat. Fujiwara armbar applied. This will hyperextend your elbow. Separates your shot. He needs to find an escape prop. Nice. Off the rope. Oh, that's just insulting. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. Rolling into a monkey flip. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. I think we're about to see that. Face first, he goes. Hangs it up on you. And he goes for the pin. Two count there. Oh, Cody anticipated that. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. We're on the horizon. A oh, knee drop. Slingshot. Using the ropes. Right to the midsection. Kick to the stomach. Cody Rose has his opponent right where he wants it for crossroads. Rose just turned the lights out. Try and end it. Wow, just barely making it out. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really fight out how tough you are. It looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. And back elbow creates separation. Tell the world, DDT! Cover! Two count, he kicks out at two. What a match. We're with
witnessing insanity. These superstars are chasing glory. But who will reach their breaking point first? Who can hold on? Sharp blow to the neck. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Uh-oh. Cut off with a sweep. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Out of the way in time. Fujiwara armbar applied. This will hyperextend your elbow. Separate your... And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Close line. Cody looking for the win, and this could do it! Crossroads! Cody's put a lot of competitors out with that. There's two! Finally, it's over. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! There's a great victory. When you're a class act like that, no one is going to hate it when you win. Absolutely, Corey. This is a big win for sure. And being able to walk out of the ring with your... Listen to this frenzy for L.A. Knight. If any dummies out there don't know, now they know. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight will hand out a beatdown to anybody, any night of the week. It doesn't matter to him. Knight has got that unmistakable swagger, and he is creating a special moment in time within WWE, and I'm here for it. This is one of the most complete competitors in the history of sports entertainment. AJ Styles. One of the most influential competitors of this generation. And his opponents, first, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is in a class by himself, continually adding to his accolades with every single match. A Grand Slam champion in WWE night after night lives up to the moniker of phenomenal. You know, being known as phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight.
Here comes a high flying feed on. This is going to be fun to watch. And from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier, a stand out of NXT UK, one of the most entertaining competitors in the history of that brand. And he's brought that same energy to the US and the entire WWE Universe. Is about to see it right about now. Keep your eyes on the skies when Nathan Frazier competes. I agree, Byron. This dude is fun to watch, and he is unstoppable once he gets going. And his athletics are unmatched. Triple Threat always a challenging matchup for any superstar. Getting this one underway, we see L.A. Knight, A.J. Styles, and Nathan Frazier. No count outs, no disqualifications, no allegiances. If there isn't a lot, is it enough? Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Oh my God, look at this. Suplex! What a devastating maneuver. Looks like they are putting aside their differences for now. Wonder how long this will last. As long as it needs to, Saxton. LA Knight asking the crowd, whose game is it? Oh. Into the corner now. And oh two ways to bat it. That move was just dirty. Look, I know it may sound cliche, but with triple threat matches, you've always got to keep your head on a swivel. Always got to know when to pick your spot. Even if you form an alliance, it won't last. That's just the nature of the game. A little rope assistance, punishing their opponent. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Bad predicament right here. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. And after that shot to the knee, what could be next? Ooh, impactful knee drop. What elevation. I can already feel the sting of the kendo stick, and I do not care for it. Oh, and it looked like AJ Styles got hit with a bold attack that time. Yeah, that right there was Knight smash mouth style we always talk about. No. Neckbreaker! Styles not backing down one bit. Looks like he does want some. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And Frazier able to reverse that. Oof. And he rolls out to create some separation. He should have created separation by never coming out here. Lifted way up. That'll jam your tailbone. Frazier gets met with a response. Look at this. They're setting him up. Double suplex. It's always good to find a partner in a situation like this, but that can quickly sour. Effective arm drag. Boom. Boom. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. And he's getting downright nastier and nastier with each of these attacks. There seems to be no signs of defense right now. There is some power behind that punch. Attacking the arm. Oh, what a close line. And this has got to be it. Running interference. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Wicked kick to the lower back. Solely focused on. Ooh. LA Knight. Uh oh. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. Uh oh. Picked out of midair. Stars crash. Has AJ delivered the exclamation? Slam! And L. 
wants more from his opponent. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Styles wanted to get some, but it was just brought to him there. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. Oh, kendo stick right to the head. Saw that one coming. Oh. Oh. Somehow, he doesn't get it here. One, two, yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Really just laying it in. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Nathan Frazier. Unbelievable athleticism. With a super punch from the top rope into a final cut. That could be curtains for Knight. Knight was ready for that. Well, that'll leave him up. He's for the win. He breaks up the pin and the match continues. It more. Oh, an arm breaker. And he sends him into the corner. Splash. Rock with the point of the elbow. Frazier may be thinking high risk. Perhaps looking for some kind of... Frazier on top! He's got a kendo stick. A weapon we've seen used to great effect time and time again. He just won't give up. Swing play! Nicely done. Mm -hmm. When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do super... L.A. Knight B. more times he's going to be able to kick out after that. That was too close for comfort. That was the best weapon in the arsenal, but it wasn't enough to produce an end result. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. He's thinking a steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Oh, oh. That did not look good for AJ, and yeah, he's busted open now. And again, Knight gets caught by the opposition. A vulnerable looking LA Knight here. And now gets tossed into the ring. <laughs> Setting up for something here. Can't prepare your face for that. Into the corner. This can't be good. And he's able to reverse. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, that's going to sting your back. Just breaking down the opponent. AJ just rubbing it in now. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. He's heading back to the ring. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. Talk about the knee. Oh, what a kick. Effective arm drag. from AJ. 
Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. The WWE Universe is showing their appreciation for the action they're seeing. It has been an absolute war out there. These superstars' efforts are not lost on this crowd. Nathan. Cover! Two! And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. Here is your winner, LA Knights. Standing tall above the two other hungry competitors who were in this match. This is the kind of action you get when... You put three hungry competitors in a match against one another, forcing them to battle for supremacy. A resume a mile long. Two-time Hall of Famer. One of WWE's most dominant champions. He is immortal. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. Weighing in at 303 pounds. The immortal. Hero to generations, a beacon of hope to young Hulkamaniacs like uh, one Brian Kelly. Oh, I know that guy. Hulk Hogan created an entire paradigm shift, transcends sports entertainment, and Hulkamania continues to run wild here tonight. Headliner of the first eight WrestleManias. Count them, eight. Well, check out those pythons, Cole. It looks like Hulk's ready to headline eight more WrestleManias. Let's see, I said my prayers, I took my vitamins this morning. Guys, I think I'm on the right track. Straight out of Dudleyville and into the final. Representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville, weighing in at 326 pounds, Hillary Dudley. A man with no concern for his own well being or others will put his own body in danger to prove a point. Also, a man who was raised on the tough streets of Dudleyville.
Bubba Ray is not going to need Devon to get the tables tonight. The red and yellow only grows stronger. He needs to be prepared. But can you ever truly be prepared for Hulkamania to run wild on you, brother? You know things are going to get a little more extreme tonight with Bubba Ray Dudley in the ring. One half of one of the most decorated tag teams in the business. You don't receive an honor like that without a good mix of skill, power, and ruthlessness. Bubba's lack of concern for the well-being of his opponent might only be outshined by his lack of self-preservation. Yeah, Corey, I have a feeling we're going to see that same extreme champion mentality tonight. But he better be ready because Hogan's been training, saying his prayers, and taking his vitamins. He better be ready, all right. We all know the power of Hulkamania, but it's another thing to stand across the ring from Hulk Hogan and have to be the one to overcome it. Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. And a big oh. boost! Oh, oh, man. Hulk Hogan is always in tremendous physical condition. What's the best approach against the Hulkster tonight, Corey? An opponent must attack quickly, stay on the offensive, and don't give him a second to catch his breath. That'll shut all the Hulkamaniacs up, and they'll no longer give Hogan their strength. From behind. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, what a cross the throat. As we saw there, Hogan's not the only one in this matchup who can bring the fight with authority. Boom! What a right! Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face. I mean, this has been a physical battle since the get-go. It has been everything we have expected between these two men. Yeah, I think this man has uh, had enough. Can you blame him? You can't be serious. Time to walk away and fight another day. He's actually going to leave the match? Certainly appears to be the case. Wait a second. Maybe oh, not. Oh, oh. Where the hell did he come from? Hey, goodness he was here. There's no escape for this superstar. Yeah, they're going to have to see this match through the end. Elbow drop. He thinks he has it. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. From the top, the Hulkster continues to survive. Chunk slam! Landed. That blow might be a test to Bubba Ray's toughness. Yeah, it looks like Hogan is feeling the power here. He finds a counter for Bubba Ray. Bubba Ray letting that left hand fly. And a massive elbow to follow. And he kicks his opponent away. Able to avoid there. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. He's back in, beating the count. Close fist connects. These two going strike for strike, it seems. He turns it around. Back and forth from these competitors. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Big punch finds its mark. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef here and now, and that'll be the end of it. Lift off, diving shoulder tackle. Shoulders down. Forces the shoulder up after two. So, so close. That could have been it.
Hogan looking to end this. Atomic leg drop. That could be Bubba Ray's demise. Two. Kicks out. Just kicked out. Where in the world is he getting this from? His beating heart will not be stopped. We've seen more UFOs than people kick out against Hogan, guys. We're in uncharted waters, and frankly, so is Hogan. One, two, he kicks out somehow. You can't keep the Hulkster down. You can't trample on Hulkamania. Not tonight, brother. And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver. Bubba Ray, plotting here. And Bubba hits the Bubba Cutter. Does the Hulkster have strength to recover? There it is. Bubba Ray is your winner. Here is your winner. They refuse to let the disrespect get to them, and now they are standing tall. Definitely kept their head clear in this one. You have to consider this win a point made. This is a demand for respect. Who knows if they've earned it from their opponent with this win, but they've certainly earned it from the WWE Universe. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland. Weighing in at 198 pounds. The total non-stop action internet champion, Richie Sean. You can see exactly why the arena is full here tonight. This is a match with major stakes.
This guy lives to compete, so he'll be treating this match as if he were defending the title. The new world order is here. And the entire locker room and his opponent better watch representing out. Representing the NWO from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. Utterly dominant in WCW. That dominance included an iron grip on the WCW Championship, the WCW Tag Team titles, and the WCW Cruiserweight title. Because here's the thing, Saxton, each man is a main eventer on their own. As a unified front, they are unstoppable. sports entertainment world and have backed up their word. Expect more dominance from the NWO here tonight. And I bet that dominance will be just too sweet. It's so much less cool when you say it. say the title has been looking good around this man's waist. They always ask whether the man makes the title or the title makes the man. In this case, it looks like a mutually beneficial relationship to me. We know he looks the part. Only question is whether he can be the part. This won't be a title match, but it is sure to be a difficult test for the champion. And he's going to have to deal with the bad guy himself. One of the toughest men on God's green earth. Paul's fought demons that would break a lesser man, but against all odds, he's still here. Through the highs and lows, Hall would be the first to tell you, bad times don't last, but bad guys do. It's more than his smarts and his strength that make Hall a tough Chico, it's resilience that makes him special. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. He's taking is starting to pile up. Yeah, as Hall is up to his bad guy moniker with that offense. Oh, but counters with a shoulder to the gut. Lights out. DDT connects. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Corey, what's a good way to beat Scott Hall if there even is one? Scott Hall is mean and smart, so you're going to have to be meaner and smarter. Be ready to take some serious power moves and expect a long night, but don't let yourself get intimidated or discouraged at any point. He's got him down. Is this it? He narrowly avoids the count. Just barely, but it counts. Pop right in the 
the stomach creates the separation. Oh, there's a kick and black mass. Lights out. And shoulders are down. There's two. And a kick out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Cinching in a waist lock, but right hands. Big right hand. And look at this. Leg hooked for a fisherman suplex, but a reversal and a clothesline takes them down. Just disrespectful. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. And a series of vicious stops. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. And there's the fallaway slam. And Hall putting that strength of his to good use. Leave it to Hall. Got Hall. Has got a run where he wants him. Up and down. One more for the bad guy. And Hall put a stamp on this one. Oh, kick out, kick out of two. Well, I thought that was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. But Hall is not one to let that throw him off his game. He's only throttling up now. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Scott Hall setting his opponent up. Fantastic counter. Nice arm drag. Springboard cutter. Down now, what's the goal done by Hall? You can't take much more of this. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Oh, man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Great counter. And there's the cover. just picked up the win here. And anyone who's been paying attention just knew that Hall had this one in the back. Good for the bad guy. Yeah, now we're talking. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Orlando, Florida. Weighing in at 300 pounds. The total non-stop action world champion, Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. Gonna do it! Uh -huh. 
It's all at stake for him against the Almighty. Walk out of here with an incredible victory, or you may not be able to walk out of here at all. Tonight has just become almighty. And per normal, Lashley is ready for a fight. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Guys, Bobby Lashley has the physique that's carved out of marble. Yeah, Michael, when you look at Bobby Lashley, you see an absolute freak of nature. And it is almost impossible to stop this runaway train. The presence of Bobby Lashley is not a figment of your imagination. There's no filter on a social media app needed. Bobby Lashley is as real as it gets. Hey, he's a peak physical specimen. Proud U.S. Army veteran who's dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades. They say winning a title puts a target on your back, and here's a man who has stepped up to take that challenge head on. Yeah, he's braver than most. Superstars always say that being a champion is a constant battle of you versus the world. Even if you're not defending the title, the pressure is still constantly on you to deliver. We'll see how far that bravery takes him momentarily, Byron. And ready for him across the ring, we have the almighty Bobby Lashley. That's one of the most amazing things about Bobby Lashley, Corey. He's always ready. We've seen that the Almighty is willing to throw down whenever, wherever, and wear down whoever he wants. Power bomb. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Repeated waistlock takedowns. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Uh-oh. That didn't go Lashley's way. Oh. Oh, saw it coming. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. All the way down, falling powerbomb. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, the Almighty displaying pure physical dominance there. The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. It's got to be hard to formulate a game plan when you're facing off against the Almighty, Corey. You certainly can't try to overpower him, can you? That would not be a wise strategy, Cole. Trying to overpower Lashley is only going to get you in trouble and fast. If you want a fighting chance against the Almighty, your best bet is to keep your distance and pick your shots. Lashley can't hit or submit when he can't catch. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. The ref still counting, might be a count out. Punch right in the head. What a maneuver! Delivers the knee. He turns it around. Sits in the hurt. desire being put to the test. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Driven down face first. Ooh, I heard a snap.
He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. His opponent is just overwhelming him here. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Ooh, brutal form. Lashley caught by surprise. Oh, my gosh, what impact. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Climbing up top, he's got big friends. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming. Oh, well, look out. Diving shoulder tackle. Lashley is really, Bobby is in real danger now. An exposed Lashley here. Uh-oh. Lashley creates an opening with a counter. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Bobby Lashley stalking his opponent. Did Lashley get all of it? Looking for the victory. Two count. And a victory. A win. Here is your winner. The almighty Bobby Lashley. The almighty lays it down in victory. When you're on Lashley's level, it's always just a matter of when, not if. Business complete. Now it's time to celebrate. Here comes Big Bronson Reed. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia. Weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size. Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, tsunami! Here he comes, the best in the world. And he's not here to make friends. He's here to make money. Pounds. C.M. Punk. 
Well, CM Punk made his return with a flood of emotions, but he knows he now has unfinished business and a story of his own to complete. After nearly a decade away from WWE, Punk can still compete at a high level, and he'll need that with today's competitors. A polarizing figure, but Punk is determined to be the best. Punk's return was an amazing moment, but now he must capitalize. Yeah, easier said than done because the competition is now at an all-time high. Is being the best in the world still good enough? There's the bell and more evidence that hell has frozen over CM Punk is all set for action. A lot of people never thought CM Punk would return, me included. But it's great to see him back in the WWE ring. I'm sure he used his time away to hone and perfect his game. There's no doubt that Punk worked on improving himself in every sense. The second city saint is difficult to compete with. But he's got trouble on his hands in the form of Bronson Reed. This big man climbs into the ring with a simple objective in mind to inflict as much damage as humanly possible. And with his 330-pound frame and jaw-dropping power, inflicting damage is pretty easy for big Bronson Reed. You said it. We've seen Reed run roughshod over the toughest competition. He doesn't care who you are or how strong you are. Bronson Reed is going to tear you apart. Saw it coming and got out of there. Ah, oh, clubbing blow to the back. Any good tips for taking out a grizzled veteran like CM Punk? Someone who has gone head-to-head -head with all-time greats? Punk may have a ton of it. From the top! Elbow drop! Came down like a lead balloon. Off into the pin. There's two! Almost! Two and a half! He's determined to keep this matchup going. Oh, an elbow drop. And Reed is taking command of this one. This is a clever strategy, trying to go after Punk's old battle wounds and exploit all his years of competing in the ring. Oh, right to the throat. He eludes the contact. Oh, what an axe handle. There's the fight another day. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Off the barricade. Forearm after forearm after forearm. What a shot. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Tossed back into the ring. What are they doing here? Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. On the DDT. Ooh. Oh, that got turned around on Reed. Springboard! Springboard clothesline! <laughs> Hooked up. DDT! <laughs> Bruising attack to the stomach. Just ruthless. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Nay, hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Oh, and a neck breaker. Arms are trapped. There's the headbutt. Great reversal. <laughs> Trying to bring Green down with that maneuver. With a DDT. Great counter. Across the shoulders. Down hard. Wasteland into a senton. A bone crushing assault from the walking natural disaster. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Close line. Oh, 
That should do it right there. And he fights it off. How? How? Punk has that look. Gonna try to end it. Punk has him trapped up across the shoulders. Go to sleep. This is troublesome to read. And a kick out. It was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. Punk took his best shot, gave him everything he had, but just couldn't get the pin. Quick strike to the lower body. Counter by seeing each shot landing with a little bit more venom. And Punk gets countered there. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. No backing down here. They really want to make sure the best man comes out on top in this one. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Defense chop. And all eyes are on Reed now. He's taking this to the floor now. Whip back into the ring. Stiff in front. Oh no, trapping the arm. Vicious stomps to the hand. Down with the Samoan drop. Here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? the win. Here is your winner, Bronson Reed. CM Punk disappointed with this loss tonight. Big Bronson Reed did exactly what he came here to do, and that's wreck the competition.